What's going on, YouTube? You know who it is. Big No-No. Representing Big No-No. And let me tell y'all, I gotta go inside. I'm tired. But I gotta go inside and get this way in, bro. Okay, that needs to stop. Big shout out to Chris Jones. You're insanely popular. <laughs> uh, I'm rocking the beard. I'm really happy. That's the only good thing that's going to come out of this video is that I'm, I feel like my no, my No Shave November beard is looking real clean. I'm really sorry, guys. Like, I don't have anything fancy to say. I don't want this to be, like, a confession. Like, you guys are my daddies and my mamas. Um, but you are an accountability tool. And as some of you, I'm sure, have suspected... I've been kind of fucking up these last two weeks, and I've been embarrassed about it. Starting weight was 246 on this channel, and I made this big push and this big commitment to lose weight and eat healthy for my mental health, and I, I just, I lost sight of things these last couple weeks, and I just want to apologize, and I want to thank you for showing up any damn way to support this video. I don't mind if you need to dislike the shit, because I'm, I'm, I'm upset at myself, you know, I'm disappointed in myself, first and foremost. I just I just fell back into my my pattern of um, eating food for comfort. So I've been having like the best workouts ever, but uh, I've been slipping in the kitchen. I haven't been eating shitty like all day every day, but I've been struggling at night. I had excuses in my head, and uh, and I was just going with them, you know. And but now I've seen some of the weight come back. I, I've been afraid to even get on the scale because I know it's gonna be bad, guys. I mean, it's gonna be bad, but I'm not fucking quitting. I'm not giving up. Deep deep-rooted fucking habits they're they're really hard to overcome and change just my pattern my history with eating to feel good eating to comfort myself I mean I just those late night times are like the witching hour for me in terms of like stirring up old feelings um, fears anxieties depressive thoughts that kind of seem to be more prevalent at night and and I'd done such a good job I was so proud of myself for about six and a half seven weeks when I cut down 20 pounds uh, this isn't a woe is me. I know a lot of people deal with this shit. Let's get back on track. I look forward to having a really, really positive way in next week. Moment of truth. Please, God. Okay. Hey. Hey, you know what? I will take that. 235. I even had a cheat meal last night. So weighing in at 235 this morning, that was kind of a relief, which is sort of sad. I just know my extreme personality, um, and I was just afraid it was going to be worse. So I have no doubt that that uh, starting today, refocus, relocked, not just a couple meals a day, but the whole day. Uh, I bet you anything I weigh in at like 230 next week, easy. And I want to stress that it's not about the weight. I'm not like disappointed necessarily that I'm heavier. I'm disappointed that I'm not eating for better mental health. You know what I mean? Like that was the whole function. I think that's why I felt shame about this weigh-in. And my bad for that again. Listen, I'm not going to be a little bitch and hide from the camera just because I decided to compromise my morals, compromise my goals. Um, I'm human, yes, but I, I owe it to you guys to stay honest whether I'm messing up or not. And some people are like, bro, why can't you just not go so extreme in either direction? And I just have an addict all or nothing sort of personality and so I, I used my my woman's birthday and Halloween and the blood draw that my my naturopath told me to go ahead and eat poorly before so that we could get accurate levels I kind of used that as an excuse and I got carried away and, and I kind of just got lost in that world of, of eating foods that just trigger a dopamine response and feel good I might have some footage of one of my binge eating epidemics so if you guys have any interest at all in seeing that, let me know in the comments below and I might post that. Give it to me real. Tell me how you guys are doing in your struggle. Uh, you know, a few steps forward, a couple steps back. We keep going. We keep fucking trying.